Right, so let's talk about Zoho One. What is it and what can it do? So I'm going to give you a really quick fly through of the apps. I know you've probably, if you've already fully understand what Zoho One is, you can skip this lesson. Um, so this is my Zoho One that I'm logged into and it's really up to you how many apps that you use. You don't have to use them all. It's good to get to know them all. Um, but there's 35 plus apps in everything. So if I just run through these apps quickly, uh, just to give you an idea, Zoho Assist is a it's a um, it's a way of controlling somebody else's computer. It's tech support for somebody. So if someone says to me, "I'm struggling with Zoho One," I can I can send via Assist an email that says, uh, "Grant Paul access to my computer," and then. I can jump in and talk to you while I'm looking at your computer. It's um, I don't know. I've had a bit of a blank on what what I'm saying. It's you know, it's I can give you technical assistance via Assist. So it's like Team Viewer or um, Log Me In. Yeah, Log Me In, something like that. Something where it's accessing remote computers. Um, so it's pretty cool. Obviously, for a lot of you, I, I, you probably won't use that. Like you know, if you're if you're in business that you don't do anything technical support wise, then obviously you won't use Assist. Uh, Zoho Books is is your finance, your accounting package, similar to QuickBooks or Sage, um, ClearBooks. I actually, at the time of this video, don't use Zoho Books for my books, for the simple reason um, I've been using ClearBooks for probably three or four years, and my accountant knows it. So. Uh, I'm going to see, I'm going to get my accountant to come into Zoho Books. I'm eventually going to transfer it. It's my year end in a couple of months time um, and I'm going to switch over to Zoho Books. But at the minute I don't use it because, um, just because my accountant's, it's cheaper for me, for my accountant to dive in and be quick. Campaigns is newsletter stuff, you know, automating triggers that send out um, or email uh, automation so if somebody signs up for uh, your newsletter or you've got something to sell you can send them an email day one send them an email day seven send them an e email reminder setting up rules for newsletter delivery stuff like that checkout is is a checkout page a way to take money online clicks really cool um, it's a chat community uh, app very much like slack I mean, it's literally almost the same as Slack. If you're just one user, you won't use it unless you like talking to yourself. But if you're going to get more, if you're going to be more than one user, you're going to be a team in here, then it's a really cool thing to do. Connect is something along the same line. Connect is a social network in house. Actually, Connect is what I use as my forum. So if you've come, you can have an external one where you. Um, you can add people from an outside network and or you can have an internal one which is here which is just for your team i don't, I don't again because i'm a one man band one man army at this time i don't use it in house i use it externally i use my forum as that which hopefully you will come and join and talk to us in there so that's really cool i like connect contact manager is a little bit like zo crm Obviously, it's all your contacts, all your contact information. So, oh, CRM is a massive app. You can see I've got a link to it up here. I use it every day. I use it to keep in touch with people, to quickly be able to email or phone somebody, to be able to write notes on what we said. Because you know, at this time, I've got over two hundred students now, and it's you know it's going to grow and grow. I like to make a note of what your what your industry is, what you're using Zoho One for. Uh, other things that you might have said to me that you know I do you know if you write tell me your kids names or if you tell me what sports you're into and you know all that sort of stuff I just note it down I just I just you know so when I come back to it I don't say your wife's name's wrong or your husband's name wrong I can you know a, a lot of things I do remember about stuff but it helps to just write a note just interesting little things that that person said and they'll be happy that you've remembered it even if you haven't remembered it, but it's still nice, isn't it, to just keep all your information in one place, but then with Zoho One, you're going to talk about quotes and um, invoices, tracking what people have paid, tracking what people, because Zoho, Zoho, in Zoho One, your CRM and your books talk to each other, so you can see if someone owes you money, 
you can see if you you know for instance if if I was still an alarm fitter manager if somebody called in and said they wanted a service on their alarm I'd want a, a place where I can click that customer's name see what maintenance program they've signed up for see if they owe money you know, if this person never pays the bills, I'm not going to send somebody out to them. So within Zoho CRM, I can quickly see, oh, right, that person owes me, you know, £10,000. Well, if you pay 10% of it off today, I'll send somebody out to you, you know, or I'll continue helping you. Uh, desk is a support desk um, platform where you can have support tickets and um, a customer, a frequently asked questions area on your website. I use it. I if you go to my website, up in the top here, it says contact Paul. That opens a contact form. Never looks really great on my site. Or contact Paul opens the same form, and what that does is it creates a ticket inside Zoho Desk that um, I can, you know, action against. So if someone's put in a support request or just an hello. I've got a ticketing system where I I know ones that I've replied to and ones that I haven't. Very much like Zendesk. Um, it's the only really other one that I've used. I like Zendesk, and you can you can integrate Zendesk with Zoho One. But uh, I try to use everything within Zoho, so I obviously I get to know them more. Docs is what it sounds like putting your docs documents on. Expense is cool. It's a way of tracking your expenses that you can then build to a project or bill to um, your company to get your expenses back flow is very much like zapier if you've if you've heard of zapier zapier it's integrating one app with another in a workflow so if someone signs up for desk i can make a workflow that makes me reminds me to email them back or if someone's put a purchase order in in inventory you can do workflows to make sure that there's a certain process going on uh, so flow flow does that really cool uh, forms is putting forms on your website i use desk o desk i always want to call it o desk because that looks like an o it's just desk in it um putting forms on your website inventory managing and tracking your inventory seeing stock levels all that sort of cool stuff invoice sending invoices out tracking it in books so mail i use every day uh, obviously your mail email motivators something i don't use as a one-man band but when you get into more users it's a way of game game of fine ah. uh, it's a way of uh, making contests for your salesmen and tracking what people have uh, where people are what they've sold and all that sort of stuff uh notebooks a little notebook App. I don't actually use it, but it's you know it's little sticky notes that you can use. Page Sense is tracking stats and visitors on your website. People is uh, managing your people. It's a HR program. People that work for you. You know holiday days, sick days, uh, all that sort of stuff. I think it does expenses links with that as well. So projects is is project management. So recruit is. Is a, again a HR program where you can track people who have, you know, of um, applying for jobs. You can you can save the uh, CVs and stuff like that. You can you can manage interviews and interview notes and keep on file. When you say to somebody, "I'll keep your CV on file," you actually will. So reports is everything reporting all this data together. Sales IQ. I don't know if I've got my note yet. Sales IQ is managing visitors on your website where you can click and see whereabouts on your website they are and live chat so you can you can talk to that person i could uh, in theory this is obviously me so i could say hello how's it going and if i go to here oh i haven't got it open it'll come up it's trying it should come up and say hello. How's it going? It may it may be funky because it knows it's me, um, but I'll talk you through that as well. So sheets same as um, is like Excel. Show is like is like um, PowerPoint presentations. Show times, the same sort of thing, but um, give delivering the presentations. Sign is 
uh, DocuSign, getting sending out documents to sign that people can electronically sign. Sites is websites, creating websites, um, creating websites basically. Social is a scheduling and monitoring social uh, app where you can see all your comments and pay and posts and things, and uh, you can schedule content to go out. Sprints is another project management app. Subscriptions is where you can charge people subscribing subscribing to your whatever you're doing. So as a as a again as an alarm company, we would have an annual maintenance plan. So we could have just sent that out as you know sign up for this forty five pound uh, maintenance plan, and it would automatically renew. Is our survey is sending survey questions out. Um, that then sync as well with CRM. Vault is a password. It remembers all your passwords. Uh, Writer is a word processing app. And this review research is a, is a custom app that I'm working on. So like in that last video, I've said there's absolutely loads this can do. Everything in here is, is covered. What you need for your business, online business, um, online and offline in a way, it's all here, but you want to make sure you focus on certain things first and then spread into into new areas. So it always gets a bit scattered, this video, because there's so much Zoho One can do. But I think you feel the power and feel the, the, the possibilities in your fingertips is huge when, when you just see all these apps in one place. Don't get overwhelmed. Start with one. Start. I, as I said in that last video, I would I would recommend getting into your mail, getting into CRM, and then spreading out. You know, maybe looking at a separate week every month into right. What we're going to look at this month on Zoho? Are we going to look at you know the inventory next? Are we going to turn into this next? It's you know, try and fully understand each app before moving into another one. Uh, is is what I recommend. Otherwise, it just it gets too many, it gets too much. All right?